Tree of Heaven, Atlantis Atissima, often referred to as simply Atlantis, is a rapidly growing, exotic invasive tree native to Asia. It was first introduced into the United States in the late 1700s and has since become an aggressive invasive species that can quickly overwhelm roadsides, fields, and natural areas displacing native plants. Tree of Heaven tolerates a wide variety of site and moisture conditions, from fertile soils along rivers and streams to rocky drought-prone soils on ridgetops and abandoned mines. It is commonly found growing on disturbed sites such as roadsides, as well as forest edges, fence rows, and in forest openings. Tree of Heaven is a rapidly growing, relatively short-lived tree. It can grow to a large size, with mature trees reaching 80 feet in height and 6 feet in diameter. Tree of Heaven has pinnately compound leaves, meaning that each leaf has a central stem called a rachis with multiple leaflets on both sides. Tree of Heaven leaves range in length from 1 to 4 feet with anywhere from 10 to 40 leaflets. This image shows a Tree of Heaven leaf next to a yardstick for perspective. The margins or edges of each leaflet are smooth or what is referred to as entire. At the base of each leaflet, you will find one or two bumps known as glandular teeth. When crushed, the leaves emit a distinct offensive odor that can compare to cat urine or burnt peanut butter. The bark of Tree of Heaven is light brown to gray, resembling the skin of a cantaloupe. As the tree ages, the bark turns darker gray and becomes rough. The twigs of Tree of Heaven are alternate on the tree. They are stout, greenish to brown in color, with small lateral buds and lack a terminal bud at the end of the twig. The twigs have large V or heart-shaped leaf scars. The leaf scar is there exposed when the leaf falls from the stem. Lateral buds are located at the top of each leaf scar as seen in this image. The twigs can be easily broken to expose the large spongy brown center or pith. It emits the same unpleasant odor as the crushed leaves. Tree of Heaven is dioecious, which means a tree is either male or female and grows in colonies or clones. All trees in a single clone are the same sex. Seeds form on female trees in a one or two inch long twisted samara or wing. There is one seed per samara. The samaras are found in clusters which remain on the tree through much of the winter. Individual samaras eventually fall to the ground assisted by gravity and wind. To summarize, the distinguishing characteristics of Tree of Heaven include pinnately compound leaves, leaflets with smooth edges and glandular teeth at the base, distinctive unpleasant odor, bark resembling the skin of a cantaloupe, stout greenish-brown twigs that have a spongy brown pith, and seeds in twisted samaras that remain on the female trees into the winter. By using these key characteristics, you will be able to identify Tree of Heaven on your property as well as across the landscape.